Hey, what's up everybody? So I just wanted to go over a really quick, cool, fast way to make a little promo text move really fast, really quick, right? So let's do that right now. First thing I'm going to do is open Avid Title Tool. Yes, Avid Title Tool is not the greatest tool in the world. Most text you should make in After Effects, but sometimes you're in a pinch. Sometimes you need something really quickly. So the first thing I would say is just type your text. Very important to pick a font. And I say this as a side note. You should have like a list of two or three fonts that are your go-to fonts, fonts you like. So I have the text right here. And what you want to do is make it as big as possible in the center of the screen. You'll see why in a little while. And that's a little too big. Spread this out. Again, the Avid Title tool is super annoying. And this is okay. And I want to bring the leading down. I don't want too much space in between this word. So we'll go minus 25. We'll go more. Minus 40. And now I want to center this. So right here, alignment, center horizontally, center vertically. Okay, and this is what I will start out working with. Okay, so now I have the title lined up where I wanted to. And I'm going to go into effect mode. And you're going to see the title here. I'm going to hit this little button on the bottom, which promotes it to a 3D title, which means you can adjust a lot more different things. And what I'm going to do is just grab this little tool right here, which is the scale, and I'm just going to drag in that box and just blow it up to, let's see, I don't know, I'll grab this one if you haven't used these tools before and just move it to something, something big here. Right, that'll work. Now I'm gonna go back into my normal mode, uh, source record mode. I have keyboard shortcuts from that and videos about that. And I'm just gonna go three frames ahead. Add edit, I use C to add edit. And I'm gonna jump into it again and do the same thing except this time, right? We'll bring it somewhere where it's readable. And here's the key. You have to be careful that you're not making two keyframes. I wanna do it just one at a time. So I should have been more conscious of that to begin with. Uh, everything else is fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Back into source record. We'll go three frames again. One, two, three. Uh, maybe I'll go four. Hit C for me at my add edit again. I'm back in effect mode. There is no keyframes on this, thankfully. And again, I'm just going to maybe make it a little, a little bigger, right? Just a, maybe like a little step jump. If I go to F8 and I go back and forth, boom, boom, right? Boom, boom. And then I'll go three frames ahead. We'll do two more of these. And I'll make this real small. So again, I'm just dragging in the arrow. Much much easier than moving these positions and scaling. Uh, you, we're actually moving the Z position in this case, but much easier than just you know moving those three things, right? And then I go back. F8 to my editor, and I'll go one, two, three frames ahead. Hit add, edit, C. And this one will be, let's just make it full screen like that. Did we even spelling faithful right? And faithful looks wrong with this font. Is it two L's? I don't think so. Uh, all right, so now I'm going to cut that off. So now I just have these five three frame cuts, right? So I'm going to render it, and now let's see how this came out. And again, this can be random. This doesn't have to be exactly the you way this is. Of course I don't be good. Hmm. Be a good of course I don't so be not one of my best ones. Um, sometimes I do this randomly, and I like that better. I obviously don't like the last one. Ah, here's a problem. I don't like when it moves. So what happened here is it's doing a move. I want them to be straight cuts. So that was a good mistake to happen here. And I will control C and control V that keyframe. And now let's see, it might be a little better, even though I don't think it's that great. It's better, right? You don't want to have that movement in it. So you could even, I hear it a little bit, you can even match it to the music if you want to. So again, this is really quick, cool, promo type, fast text. I'll show you a couple other ones. We did it in After Effects and whatnot. Uh, th this is one I did in Avid. So uh, it's number two. Shauna and two shocking secrets. Right? And if I go really slow, you can see this is just, again, a big Avid 2 and Avid Title tool. One, two, three. 
one, two, three. It just jumped left, right, and got big again, and then it's gone. But, you know, it's sort of just like, it's, it's a really cool, like, little eye candy mind trick. Oh, no. Two. two shocking secrets and in theory you can tell it's two and add something to it right and in this case which i didn't do the last time which i probably should have done you see there's a little transparency there that actually adds a lot i didn't think about that that last time did i do it on here in this end yes i did i did an avatar tool took out you know 16 opaque meaning zero where it's full and i just took out the opaqueness being 16 you could also do that after the fact, not on that screen, when you promote it to the effect editor, you can use this foreground and make it even, you know, even more. But that little subtle transparency, I think actually adds a lot. I think it's an important thing. So here's another one. Shocking secrets. And so just think about how this words, and this is a promo, so obviously this wouldn't work in a necessarily a dramatic scripted film, but think about how these words add to the, to the drama. And two shocking secrets. Add to explaining the story. And two shocking secrets. Creative, cool way. So here's another one I wanted to show. Is it this one? And this was made in After Effects. Okay. So I'll show you these. This one right here. Condoms. I like to have a little fun every now and again. There's two coming up. There's another one coming up. Extremely long showers. Three hour showers. Three hour showers. Three hours. One accus. So again, really quick. So if we break that down, it looks like little eye candy stuff. But what's going on here? The text missing comes from left to right for three frames. Then the word condoms is blown up, right, for three frames. And then it's it's moves. In this case, it didn't do quick. It wasn't just necessarily cuts. There's a little movement to it. And at the end, one frame at a time. One frame, boom. Another frame, boom, two frames. It was out. And Missing again, comments. this is random. You don't have to worry about, oh, well, it has to be this exact thing. Like, when you vary it up, some are going to be better than others. But it's cool. It's a cool way to... And it's quick. And you can do it really fast. And, you know, especially for people who haven't learned After Effects yet, which you will eventually, and hopefully you'll stick with me, and I'm going to get there one day and teach a course on it. But... But this is a really quick way to add texture layers to your cuts, and especially social media, Instagram pieces. My God, you definitely want to add text all over the place. You know, that's, that's the whole name of the game on that stuff. And so this is a quick way to do this. I hope this was helpful and gives you more time to drink beer. What am I drinking this weekend? But I saw something that I never saw before called Goose Island Next Coast IPA. And it says it's tropical and hoppy, and that's, I don't know why. Now I just want to drink, like, these light, hop, hoppy tropical drinks because I've been stuck in my house, and I have to wear a mask when I go outside. So I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching the channel and the kind words people have given me in comments. I really appreciate it. It's really nice to see. And I'll see you in the next video.